Hi, welcome to my channel. This video shows how to use binary counter IP core in Xilinx Vivado tool. For designing a 4 bit counter, click on create block design. Keep the design name as it is, or you can change the name. Click on OK. It opens a new canvas for adding the designs. You can add the IP by clicking on this plus search for binary counter. This is the binary counter IP with clock and output. Double click in on it, change the parameters. You have various pins to set for the counter. You can enable or disable them. I am going to use fabric implementation for FPGA and I want to set the counter to 4 bit. You can change it to 8 bit, 32 bit, 16 bit, whatever. And I want to have the synchronous threshold output. That means for 4 bit counter, once it reaches the maximum limit, I want to make it as a flag. That means I enable it as high. And the count mode is set to either up or Right now, I am setting it to up. And the threshold value, it counts maximum of up to 12. So, I am setting the value to C. C for 12. I want to add the control signals like clock enable. Observe here, clock enable is added. Similarly, I want to add the reset. It is like a clear. In a, initially, you can set the or set or reset the counter. And you can have other options as well. Click on OK. Now, I have a binary counter with the clock enable, CE, clock and reset and I am having threshold and 4 bit as output. Just right click on it, create the port, same as that, name is clock. This one to clock enable, it is also input. And this is the reset. Create the port. Let me name as reset RST, which is a input. Output. It is a bus with the four bit. I want I can change or keep it as Q and threshold with the same output. Once the design is done, just regenerate the layout and validate the design. It shows validation is successful. Once the design is done, Go to sources. Right now the design is just a block design. And you can see that it is a, having an extension of .bd, block design. Convert this block design into Verilog. For that, just right click on it and click on create HDL wrapper. Click OK.
observe that the file has changed to dot v extension v for very long once this is done go to run simulation click on this it launches the execution analysis and compilation along with the elaboration of the design now i have different signals like i want to have clock at the top you can just move it next clock enable followed by threshold and reset as well initially the counter is zero now let me enable the clock right click on it force clock binary leading edge value is 0 to 1 and the clock period is 100 nanoseconds just without enabling the clock let me run this design fit it and zoom the counter value is still 0 now I'll reset that or enable the clock. Go to the force constant, change the binary and make it as 1, forcing the value to 1. Click on OK, rerun the simulation. Observe the change, just zoom it, initially the counter value is 0, now it has started incrementing the value. As soon as the clock goes high, the counter has started incrementing the value and the threshold value once it reaches the value of 12 so right click this and you can change the radix to unsigned decimal if you want so that is the threshold value which we want set either i can change it to 12 or if i want to go to f also i can set the value again after that, the value again till 15 it is done. Again, it counts from 0 to 12. Again, raise the threshold. Similarly, you can provide a high value to reset it, like force constant, provide the value as 1. Now rerun the simulation. See the change as soon as I make the reset to 1, Q value is 0. Here the values are different. Here we have reached the threshold. This is how you use the binary counter IP in Xilinx Vivado.